have a long history with CIM. I, uh, I chose CIM because mainly I want to be an orchestral musician, and there's a magnificent association with Cleveland Orchestra. Well, I chose to apply to CIM because actually um, a student that already went here went to my undergrad and she just told me fabulous things about this institution, so I decided to apply. And then when I made it past the pre-screening and I came and had um, a mock lesson with the teacher who I study with now, Dr. Mary Schiller, it just clicked. I was also interested in its music theory program and eurythmics program. And also CIM um, provides the Suzuki program and I think it's a great program for the students who want to be a teacher after graduate for here. I applied to CIM after taking several sample lessons with Dr. Southern. Um, I began studying with him privately and through working with him realized that in the rest of my grad school application process I had been singing repertoire that wasn't right for me. I was working on music that was not representative of me as a musician or my voice. I was looking at a lot of music schools, but I wanted schools that could teach me a variety of things, not just music or not just very specifically my solo playing. And students here really seemed to love their solo playing, but seemed very engaged in chamber music and orchestra, even in theory, which isn't really a big thing in a lot of schools and they really just seemed interested in the world around them. How did I know CIM was right for me? Well, first of all, um, when I was auditioning, it snowed a lot right the day after I was supposed to audition. So I ended up stuck in Cleveland for two extra days. There wasn't really like a moment when I knew CIM was right for me. I feel like CIM is more like I can concentrate to my study more here because the city and all the students here is very working hard. None of the other schools that I actually auditioned at did I have a lesson like that. He, he made time out of his day after the audition to talk with me for 20 minutes and show me how to play Don Juan. And he, in that short 20 minutes, kind of like was able to show me what he had to offer. As a vocalist, sometimes you get a little bit insecure about your instrument and it's the way she encouraged me and she told me that I had something special. And actually after our mock lesson, she scheduled two more afterwards. Um, it just felt like this was the place I needed to be because she was just very encouraging and I felt like she could help me through this journey.